everyone, and welcome back to the brew, where you'll notice that I have an official brew mug. It doesn't... If I turn the green screen filter off, then they can properly see the... Lo uh, why does it still look like it's keyed out or something? Anyway. There's brew mugs. There's brew mugs. Help look at them. Keep, uh, uh, so hinky, you know, in this beautiful studio. It's not... This is my gross... It's a green screen background. This is my gross apartment. I'm in his bedroom. He's in my bedroom. However, this is actually, well, at the time I filmed this, this is the last day that, that my studio is going to be like this. That's right. And then I'm transitioning so my transition. apartment. I'm not transitioning. I'm transitioning my apartment to another space uh, for the studio. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and also, this is the first time we're together and filming uh, The Brew with Theros Beyond Death. So it's, I'm glad to be back. I said, no, sir, I'm not coming back until the new cards come out. He did. Uh, you had two great decks with Cam, and I'm here now to uh, judge your deck building abilities. Did you just call him Cam set. or Can? Are you saying Pan or Pam? I said Cam. Yeah, it's Can. It's Can. With an N. Yeah, I said Cam. <laughs> Sorry, Can. It's okay. Uh, so we're starting out with a deck that I, I thought about lying, but then I knew that he edited it. Wait. And so then he was just. Is this, where, where, where do we want to be here? All right. What are we doing today? All right. So I'm showing. We're gonna rename it because I know you like that. But this My is a deck part that you never go with. This is a deck that I built while you weren't here. I actually built this deck on stream one day. Oh really? And now this is the deck you were talking about. Once you saw the spoilers, and you're like, wait a second, wait a second. What if? What if? What yeah. if? Yeah. Uh, what if we? put giants in the graveyard and, hear me out, grabbed Lazav. I was like, what if we, these two cards seem like two of the best cards in the set. Crocs, a Titan of Death's Hunger, and Uro, a Titan of Nature's Wrath. If only they stayed on the battlefield. You know what does stay on the battlefield? Lazav. Lazav! The Multifarious. Now, why is this important? You're thinking to yourself, what? You play, you escape this card onto the battlefield for four mana. Uh-uh, sir. That's not its converted mana cost. Crocs's converted mana cost is two. two. So... If you play Lazav on turn two and you're able to ditch either of these into the graveyard off of the Surveil, you can then turn him into it next turn. Or if you just play them on turn two or three and then you play Lazav afterward, you can turn him into Kroxa or Uro for two or three respectively. Now, really quickly, let's, let's look at this deck and how it kind of compares to what we've been seeing in the meta so far, which I believe is aggro is one of the most annoying things. And aggro came to be because Simic Ramp take your stuff was just so annoying in the first week. Yeah, man, I did not have any troubles with the Simic deck because I run like a lot of stuff that kills Planeswalkers. I have Sinister Sabotage. Um, so I wasn't actually struggling against that deck. Now that there's aggro, this deck wins less. <laughs> okay, good. So we'll, we'll see what happens. And so pretty much this deck here is showing if you guys should be crafting the Giants and possibly Lazav if you don't have them. Let already. me say... I think both of these cards are incredible, even if you do not build an entire deck around them. That's true. I think Kroxa is amazing in a uh, Grixis control. I've been thinking about just running a Grixis control. I think there's very viable Grixis control options. I have a Grixis discard deck and an Esper discard deck that kind of work off the same principles, but I only have one of the uh, Rakdos Giant. Now here's the the annoying cards in the meta that we're going to be running into is uh, people are running the Mono Black Devotion deck, yes. which is essentially a discard deck because they run your rock. They run the- No, you rock. That's been the brew, everybody. Thank you so much. All right. So, hey, uh, also as so then I also watching this video, so he's live streaming a lot more on Twitch. Go, go watch his live streams there. Hell yeah! When I built the deck originally, I uh, so here were the things that I had in. I had Lazav, Kroxa, Uro, Clothis, Clothis, Growth cool. Spiral, Hydroid Crisis, Bedevil, uh, Murderous Rider. Now, the rest of the cards in this deck, there's a, a couple adjustments were made. And it was because I played against Lasercorn. Shoutouts to Lasercorn, who had a very similar version of this deck. However, he was I was running a different removal from this. So he had Incubation Incongruity. You can exile a creature, which is really strong in the meta, obviously, yeah. because you can exile gods and stuff if they become a creature. Which I don't see happening that often, but keep going. Uh, I saw it happen a lot because Mono White Devotion's annoying. I was using for card draw at the time... Wave Break Hippocamp. Whenever ah, you cast your Hippocamp. first spell during your each opponent's turn, draw a card. Now, the only spells 
I was really casting during my opponent's turn, obviously, were any counters and stuff, or uh, Grow Spiral. So let me say this. This is, a, this is a three cost card, and I was having trouble because at most I would draw like one card before they removed it. Yeah. But Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner. I was just thinking that's way better with the Giants. Yeah. Because it triggers, because it's a giant creature that hits the battlefield. Yeah, they come into the battlefield, they trigger Kiora. Brilliant. You can Brilliant also uh, use Kiora for mana fixing if the mana's hard, because this deck was hard to put the mana together. Someone was helping me on stream. So right now what we're rocking land-wise is we've got Stomping Grounds, Blood Crypts, Watery Graves, uh, and Breeding Pools as our dual lands. Uh, the balance was, you might be being like, why do you have three of this and two of this and three of this? This was tested over probably 20 games where we were slightly adjusting land and stuff. Uh, we also did this because we wanted Fable Passage in the deck because you have to have Fable Passage in your deck. Especially when running three colors and also with Kethis, Kethis in your uh, in your deck. It, you can... Nah, we don't have Kethis in this no, deck. No, you have, what's the red? Clothis. Clothis. I'm sorry, Clothis, Clothis. When you have Clothis, you can actually get rid of your own uh, Fable Passage to ramp up higher. Yeah. Which, what are you ramping into? I'm not ramping in anything. Yeah. I'm using Clothis strictly to deny their graveyard. Gotcha. Because there's a lot of escape cards that people are running. Uh, people are using Uro as well. Yeah, Hydroid Crisis as well if I really need to. Um, but a lot of people are running cards that play out of the graveyard in this set, and he exiles them before they get to. I'd maybe go one more uh, Hydroid Crisis, but I don't know what I'd get rid of. Right, maybe we just try this deck as is, and then uh, see if things need to get adjusted. We could go one less cloth as for one more Hydroid, but yeah, let's let's give it a shot. It's possible, you know what? Here's the, here's the thought I just had. Uh, if aggro's the problem, you know, we're running four Murderous Rider. We're just going to Murderous Rider ourselves. We can get rid of one for Hydra Cases, especially since we're running three Bedevil. Oh, yeah, get rid of one. Uh, yeah, that's a good call. One Rider, add in a Hydroid Crisis. There we go. And then, and then the part that every person coming to this channel waits for. Renaming the deck. I can't believe I have my green screen filter on. What an idiot I am. Do you wa Why do you watch me? I'm so bad at making videos and content. Like, what are you watching right now? Go, go watch. Go buy a brew mug. Go buy a brew mug. They're wonderful. Actually, like, they did turn out way better than I thought. It's really nice. Uh, Lazy yeah, yeah. Giant. Lazy Giant? Lazy Giant. Oh, because he's just chilling in the graveyard. Yeah, sleeping. and it's Lazav. Lazy Giant. It's not but, bad. It's but not, not bad. not like Lazy, but like Lazy Boy, LZ Giant. Um, ooh, the Giants. Why? Because I named my Giants deck that, and I really wanted to make that joke here. The Giants? I have a Naya Giants deck where I splashed in green for... Uh, but why for, the... What what part of it is there like a lot of females in the deck? No, it's uh, Lazav. So uh, there's a V in his name. You just wanted to make a vagina joke. Yes. I like lazy giants. Yeah, me too. Lazy giant. Giants or giant? Giant or giants? Gi lazy sure. giants. All right, here we go. We're we're throwing the the fats in the fire. There's, isn't that a saying? No. Yeah, I remember there's this uh, SWAT game back in the day where you're like a SWAT team and I remember this specific line because I was at my neighbor's house and just hearing this line over and over and over again from the other room while they failed and failed and failed at this one mission in the SWAT game and be like, this guy be like, look like, looks like the fat's in the fire, line up for deployment, let's go. And then the mission would start. Why were you that over and over? Because and over? they just die. Why were you at your friend's house listening to? And they just restart. The All right, what am I uh, keeping? Yeah, yeah, this I is keep, a keep. You have the. I got. I got the things. You got something. I got the combo. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you do have the combo. No. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. Hey. Doesn't matter which one. I mean, blood okay. crypt. Now here's the here's the thing. We could play. So if we play Lazav and we hit Uro. Or Croxa, it's amazing. Yes. Uh, but if not, then we're slow playing Lazav. Yeah. But let's try it. We'll give it a go. It's the first game here. Uh, we're seeing black, white. We're uh, probably gonna. Then... No, we need a we need a fourth land. So we're gonna ditch it. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah. Plus we're growth spiraling. Uh, well, we can't grow spiral next turn, yeah. but 
Um, if they're playing the Orzov life gain deck, uh, it's actually a deck I like a lot, but I splash green into my version of it. Maybe we can try that here sometime. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what everyone's running is the new O-Ring. The three mana. You know what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know about. what you're talking about. Oh, hey, look. Your third growth spiral. Well, we can't, uh, play anything. Nope. You want a black? Either a red. We want a red, right? Well, you have red on the field. Right, but uh -oh. if if I get a red, I could play Uro and yeah, yeah, Croxa. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I think black, black is yeah, more shoot, important. Yeah, yeah. you'll have uh, Murder Riders that you can then play. Yeah. Have you ever thought about the fact that when we lose, it's actually like... Helping people? Well, two of our brains together still can't win a game of Magic. Well, we're janking it. They're net decking it. You That's know? true. Yeah. Uh, have you been playing the Orzov oh. God? No, but I wanted to. He seems insane. I, I run one of them in my Esper discard. Oh, good. A lot of things I don't like. Yeah, this is... Well, here's the thing. Uh, no, we're fine. As long as as long as long he doesn't remove... Wait, why can't I play... Oh, oh. well, we can be, make a Croxa anyway. Yeah. So, um, as long as he doesn't remove my Lazav this turn or something, and I get to... Turn him into a 6-6, six, six, we'll be fine for a little bit. Yeah. And this then we have so much removal in the deck, we'll get it. Yeah, and he has to discard right now, which is great. Mm-hmm. What did he lose? Looks like he lost the, uh... Cruel Celebrant. Yeah. Which says to me that he's like, I got enough life gain right now. Yeah, it's fine. Well, it's not fine. Oh, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Yeah, now we need removal or we lost. Which is gonna slow down your Lazav anyways. Well, no, because he's not a, like... Kill the cat? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, he's not gonna... He's not gonna be that dumb. No blocks. At least you can start blocking the, uh, the cat next turn. Yeah. Resolve all. We're, we're gonna keep him as Lazav unless we draw... Ooh, okay. Well, now we kinda... We can't even cast this! Yeah, that's a problem. Real creature card, so we'll, we'd be ditching land. Alright, so we're gonna see if he's dumb enough to swing mm -hmm. next turn. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Is that at instant speed by any chance? Yes. The transformation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll see if he's dumb enough to swing. So if he swings with the cat, you turn into it, you kill the cat. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't swing with the cat, you just then... You just turn into it. Yeah. Oh, you turn into it. I was going to say you uh, exile his flyer. No, you can't because we don't have green blue. Oh, we, we don't. That's why I would have. Oh, look. Yeah, he's got everything he needs. Yep, it's... We did not draw the land we needed. No, could not get that fourth land. And maybe we should have uh, with we yeah with growth spirals two growth spirals and Uro in the hand we should have grabbed a green yeah. or a blue instead. Yeah. We were thinking uh, play Croxa. We should have been thinking play Uro. Well, that's gonna suck. Yeah. So anyways, we'll trade with the Pride Mate and then. Oh, it's... No, if he swings in with everything. No, because okay. he can only swing with Healer Hawk, a Johnny's Pride. Oh yeah. wait, he can swing. So he he can do six to me. So we have to do this. Yeah. Yes. X equals two. You can see how this would be good. So look at, look at this wonderful combo here. Uh, pay no attention to the death. In fact, edit out the rest of this match so that there is no death. Yeah, that just put us uh, put us in saying, "Yay, we did it! We did it! Yay! Yay! <laughs> we messed up. We messed up." And we would have gained a bunch of life. We would have drawn a bunch of cards. Yeah. Like, we would have got the removal we needed. Now we know. This is a phenomenal hand. It is a good hand. We got two greens in case we need to grow spiral or something. Really? We got the stuff to play Croxa. We We're going to keep seven. We actually have two greens to do what we Although, need. our opponent goes first. Of course. Well, we wasted our opportunity. We did not deserve our opportunity. You're right. We, we threw it away. What is that? What, what, what's your little pet over there? He's an owl. Oh, I'm using the dragon still. See, when you tickle him, he's like, <laughs> Yeah. He adorable. Hey, have you thought about, uh, thanks Gordon and I have thought about putting a third computer into his, uh, his studio. Uh -huh. He's like started doing like some Grand Theft Auto or something. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'd be down. Yeah. We should do RP if we're doing it though. Oh, do you know Flitz got like super into Grand Theft Auto and like is, uh, has like people like running missions for him. So he's just like making money. He's a, he became a drug boss in GTA. Do you need that he line? I don't need it. The only reason I like keeping Fabled Passage is because have, uh, it pulls land out of my deck, and I have currently th the stuff I need. Yeah, I go for it. You, uh... Plus, we could... Your next turn is going to be... 
Next turn's gonna be anyways. Croxa or Clothis. Red, blue, green. Oh, so he's ramping up. He's gonna be ramping up hard. Yeah, we got Bedevil in the hand, but uh, so this will have to, when we play it, will yeah. have to be another black. Yeah, we need to out ramp him. So let's just play this tapped for now, right? No, no, no. Or, uh, you need to you need to ping yourself. Why? So that you can play. You can't play the giant right now. Croxa? Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. Smart, smart so I'm guy. The, I'm the Al Borland to your Jim Carrey. But I did ask instead of just doing it, which is an improvement on what I normally. We're getting do. better. Yeah. I was like, do we just do this? <laughs> <laughs> do I make this horrible misplay, or should I no, make maybe the not this time. Yeah, maybe make the correct play. Well, we're lucky he doesn't have his Risen Reef. What did he get rid of there? He got rid of, put target enchantment on the bottom of its owner's library. Oh man, that's something that you're gonna wish that you had. Is it? Oh, because yeah, that's Lothus. enchantment. <laughs> not only am I gonna make you discard that, but I'm going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. No. Hey, Bedevil. Yeah, we got Bedevil. Bedevil. But also, you know what I think we should do instead, almost? So he's gonna bring a land up. I think we should just turn him into Croxa and swing at it. He's gonna block with his 0-3. That's fine. Yeah. He's, he's getting one extra land. You wanna Bedevil first? Well, him turning into, uh, it, what's his name? Croxa. Croxa. We'll make him discard the last card. Okay, yeah, then that is the way to go. Because at least then he's top decking. Yeah. And then you can run your, um... All right, so we play the passage first. Yeah. Um, and then what do we need uh, oh, off the passage? Second. Wait a second. Um, just make sure that you can still do growth, growth spiral. spiral. So do, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can do both. So we're gonna do green, blue, and then it doesn't matter what. Or green, yeah, yeah, blue, correct. and then it doesn't matter what else we pull. Yeah. So we probably want double black just in case we want to play yeah. Croxa. So let's just get a swamp. Yeah, swamp or red is fine. You, you kind of have the the room here. We'll swamp it up. All right. And we tap spiral. this, and we're not gross spiraling yet, right? We're doing this. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Turn it into Croxa. Auto pay. Next, attack you. Yep. Wait, he didn't. Oh, it's when he attacks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah, it was yeah, a risen yeah. reef. Yeah. 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 That's great. He'll block with a 0-3. We're gonna take six next turn, but it's fine. We just bedevil his dude, and then he's got a couple lands we're gonna have to block. We take six. That is the only concerning That's, part. Yeah, but he's top decking. He's yeah. top decking. As long as he doesn't top deck something amazing. Oh, he's counting his mana, so that's bad. Well, that's good. He wasn't using it to Pass make it. I was worried about a uh, hydro damage. Yeah, exactly what I was worried about as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and growth spiral. Is he done? With his turn? We're gonna find out right now. Ooh. All right, Water Grave comes out. My turn. Beautiful. Ah. Oh, and oh. we got the Sab. Okay. And we got the Sab, and we have the mana to do it. So we're gonna go this, this, red, and we're gonna bedevil. Yeah, but can you attack? No, we yeah. can't attack, but we can block. Yeah, it stops him in his tracks. He can't swing, he's gonna lose the land, and then have, like, Right now, he only has five mana available. How many cards in your graveyard? Can you play? Uh... Nah, it's gonna be a little while. But Devil will go in. Okay, he let it happen. Cool. All right, then we're gonna sab him. No attacks. No attacks. And turn. It's an interesting situation you have here. Yeah. Uh, also, with uh, uh, your god, you'll actually be able to gain life off of that each turn, which is something you drastically... Gain control hey, okay, target creature. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, yep, we're gonna yep. say no. Yeah, screw you. I See, I don't run as many counters as I should. And Claim, I I gain control game. of target creature? Oh. Unless this controller pays two? Did you just counter it? Can't, this spell costs two less to cast if it targets a blue spell. Oh my god. Yeah, we just lost. Yeah. Oh shit! I could have turned him back into Lazav instead. But I was, that's still seven. Dude, with converted mana cost three or less? Why? This literally only counters our deck. That's a terrible card to run. No, it, um, this, this deck is all about stealing your cards. And because aggro is so powerful right now, it takes a lot of, um, especially the consolation decks. But it goes back. So with like, most of the time, that card is going to steal like a 1-1 one, one or a 2-1, you know? Uh, in the green-white enchantments deck, you normally get a kill off of it. Oh, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's specifically countering the meta. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. You know what? We just need to wash ourselves of these games, you know? Just, just 
wash feel, that just loss right feel, out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that loss right out of my hair. Just feel like the healing energies flow through you. Oh yeah, breathe in the white light. And then guide it where you want it. Okay. And now take the win. How do we feel about this? Uh, we're gonna need a blue. We can get a blue from this. Yeah, so it slows down our sab, but... I mean, it slows down... I mean, this isn't a good hand. Yeah, but our good hands have been losing, too. Well, we haven't had a what I would call a great hand yet. Hey, we gotta go first, also. Okay. All right. Oh, we kept... I thought that was more of, like, in line to, like, getting rid of it. Oh, I thought you were arguing to keep it. I, you know, it's best that we kept it. Blue. Look at these. These lands are so cool. Uh, I, the new lands are, are now oh, in, and I don't know how art. to get them. Yeah, the full art. Oh, uh, no. I knew it! I knew we were gonna get Lazav! I should have called it! I knew it! As soon as you got the blue, I was like, we're gonna get Lazav. Top anyways. five cards, reveal a creature card. We don't want that. Well, at least we get to Uro next turn. The problem is he's gonna Johnny's Pride, mate, because everyone I play against has a perfect hand. Oh! oh. Okay. No Johnny. Hey, well, there's that. So, we can Uro first. Uh... We, yeah, Uro with the red over there. No, 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 no. You have everything you need. No, but I I just drew a black if we wanted to play Lazav. Oh, no, I say Uro first. Because there, there might be a chance where you can um, Lazav and then Uro on the same turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Blood Crypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we draw a land, then we can do that. Yeah. And wouldn't that be great? It would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. All right, well, he's, I'm gonna start, you know, he's we gaining, breathe in the white light, we put it where we want it. He's gaining a lot of life, positive. Yeah. but we have Bedevils that we can't play, so that's fun. We can claw this, yeah, that doesn't, that, that'll, that'll ramp, ramp us. us, and then we can do it. Yeah. Yeah, because turning him into Clothis wouldn't... Yeah, and uh, then we can scry into what we want. Yeah. You know, in that perfect world situation. Get rid of it. Uh, unless we draw a land off of it. But if we get rid of it, then we then we can just turn into Uro and have the same effect. Yeah. But we could draw it for a backup. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Ditching it. Ditching it and bitching it. We do have the ability to exile, but we don't need to yet. Not until we see. Haha! -ha! No, that's fine. Oh, you know what? That's amazing because we can exile on his turn next turn, or we can just claw, or uh, or we can just uro. Uh, he's just getting the what's this? Life indestructible life. until end of turn. Okay. Why do you do indestructible? Because he's worried about you pumping him up. But there's nothing in my grave. Okay. No blocks. Uh, just with two land open, you could have a uh, giant growth. Fair enough. All right, there's the land. Uh, in is that? We, we don't. I mean, we we play it if we want a bedevil. I say we uro and swing at him. Okay. At like the Gideon. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Boom. Auto pay. Look at that. We're doing the thing. Uh huh. Uh, attack Gideon. We're gonna draw a card. We just ramped. Uh. Play forest because we haven't played a land for turn yet. Uh, I'd even tap in that second or uh, pay the life to get that second land in because then you can exile a creature. Yep, pay two life. Next, you blocking bitch, and then when he turns into a creature, we we, we exile. Yeah, so either way, yeah. <laughs> he is falling for our trap. <laughs> Do your ability, sir. Look at that. We got the thing we needed. We it's got the white light. Meditate. Each day, wake up and just... Ah, uh, he's banishing lighting our Lazav. Oh, wait, wait. Ooh, no, you can't play Sab. Well, we can still do the thing to his Gideon. Yeah. And he passed uh, priority, so he can't use Gideon's ability. Correct Amunda. Not like it would do anything for us, but... Um, okay. This is kind of fine, because we can almost escape anyway. Yeah, after we, uh, bedevil something? Yeah, we'll bedevil something, we'll sabotage something, whatever, whatever. Yep, 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 yep. He's, yep. he's running out of stuff to do. Hushbringer, huh? Oh! You wanna put down a Hushbringer while we got them giants? That's not what you needed, but it's not horrible. Well, they don't cause abilities to trigger, so we're gonna have to bedevil this one. So, well, no, black, black, your, red. Your giants because they don't go to your graveyard. Oh, true, but we need to. We still want to kill it because. How many cards in your graveyard? No, he is. If he escapes, he stays on the battlefield anyway. Anyways, yeah. So we have to kill it. 
yeah but the only reason the, the only yeah the only reason that we would want you can do all three can't you bedevil bedevil no uh not bedevil bedevil can you bedevil and bring him out that'd be seven mana oh um let's see so if we did black black red and then we have green green blue so we just need a blue okay pull a blue but no, no, quickly, no, but, oh, okay. Um, Bedevil, this. No, it, did it tap it right? It no, tapped it, it right, it tapped yeah. it right. So now, so now we pull a blue, yes. Is it a, right? Yeah. yeah. We get a blue, and then we, yeah. Uro. Yeah! One, two, three, four, five. Submit five. Ah. Bop, 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 bop. Draw a card! Gain some life. Oh, put the land. Not that it does anything for us, but haha. -ha! We have a lot of land. No, oh, oh, just a Gideon. I'm okay with that. Yeah, whatever. I can get Gideon behind a Gideon. And then we have another Bedevil. Hmm. Yeah, we're hmm. fine. Okay. We're fine, like, no matter what, pretty much. And we can leave mana up to Sab stuff. Mm -hmm. This deck would have, th we would have lost if he had had a Johnny's Pride Mate. Yes. Yeah. Well, we had kills, yeah. pals. Yeah, but we would have been a little slow trying to do what we wanted to do. All right, you're just taking two life each turn, but you're also gaining life each turn. Oh, Ooh. well, that's not going to... It'll make him take three extra damage each turn. Um, We'd still want to get rid of that Gideon. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just do it now. Yeah. And then we have mana open to counter. Do we have mana to counter and play? Oh, we right. don't have the black. Oh, okay. Because we need a double black for the other one. Uh, we could play this well, and then you don't, have the don't have the keep the sab yeah open just yeah in case. yeah. So just swing. Well, if if we swing and get a land, then we could do it. Oh, there's another bedevil. Yeah, not a bad thing to have. Yeah. I think he lost, my friend. Oh, he's just triple blocking. Uh, we'll get rid of this guy and the healer hawk, and or he can the frog? and then yeah. leave the frog. Yeah, and then we're gonna claw this. Oh, he also has the white land. That's we've got we got Croxa. Oh, yep, get rid of that. Nah. Not today, Satan. Mm. Graveyard. Oh, we're yeah, gonna be able to. Yeah, we're too. gonna be able to escape him soon again. Anyway. Oh well, that helps. Should we Uro first? Uh, I'd say Croxa. We can do both. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Do this one because you can also get rid of a card from his hand if he decides to hold on to like banish the blank. Oh, that's. Oh, that we happens. should play Kiora, yeah. and, then, and then we can un. Oh well, we could actually just play everything yeah. without untapping, or we could untap and play Clothis. Um, let's play Clothis. Okay. 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 So he's gonna be losing two life. We'll be gaining two each turn. He's gonna make dudes, but that doesn't really matter that much. Um, what do we not like? If he was theoretically bringing something back, I don't think he has the ability to. If he was, yeah. let's give her the pride, mate. Okay. Um, then we uh, play the Croxa, uh, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Croxa. We'll draw a card. Yeah, but that's why Lazav's so good, because he's named Lazav. Oh, so you can have both of them out? Yeah. Well, there's a land. The land. There's the Uro. Well, we'll have to escape the other Uro and the Croxa, though. I feel like we don't need to rush, maybe, and we can just, like, bedevil something next turn, and then we have other stuff in the graveyard. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, now we can bedevil. Alive. I wonder if he's going to swing in for Kiara. He can't kill it. Oh, now yeah, he can, can kill it. No, nah, well, well, whatever. No matter what he plays, we'll kill something. No, nah, he's just attacking my face. So I don't need, I don't want to... You don't want to waste the bedevil? No. Nah. Okay. I will... I'm going to take the damage first to see what he's going to do. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. He's going to do nothing. All right, so we bedeviling the frog then? Yeah. Oh, you definitely have to uh, Croxa. So that he discards the card in his hand? Yeah, just in case if it's a uh, uh, Banishing Light. Yeah. Or it could be Link. Um, well, so man. now... Now we Growth Spiral, right? Yeah, Growth Spiral. 
Because that's another card we can get rid of in the graveyard. Of course it was another land. Do we pay the two no. life or no? no me too. Cool. One, two, three, I like how they're four, swoop around five. It. So not getting rid of either Uro. Oh, it'll be nice, Lazav. Yeah, you gotta discard that card, baby boy. Yeah, and you draw a card. Look at that combo going off. Now, a, a change I would make to this deck maybe is because um, aggro is such a problem. <laughs> it was just a healer hawk. Yeah, you, they played us. Uh, is maybe the spear of Helio or the what's the spear called? It was. The oh, spear hey. Of Heliod. We just play another Uro, I guess. We don't have any other thing to do. Yeah. So you'll draw a card. It'll be nice. Yeah. We draw two cards. How many cards? Oh, and there's oh, a crisis. There, that's how we win the game. Was the crisis? Yeah. Should we just ramp to a giant crisis, well, or do we leaving the? Oh, hey! hey! Yeah. He knew. <laughs> he knew. Well, we got a victory. You got to see kind of how the deck's supposed to work. That was a much slower game than when it works well, but yeah, it the, worked. Your whole point is like to aggro your giants out yeah. as fast as possible, which is kind of good in the meta. But again, there are a lot of blockers, so maybe look into the uh, having the, the the spear for some trample. Yeah, I think in most situations, the Giants' effects are so strong that it doesn't matter that they have blockers. Um, but yeah, that's been that. I hope you've enjoyed. Get yourself a brew mug. They're available now. Oh, thanks. Do it again. Get yourself a... It's not, you know, it's not in focus, because we have it on manual focus, so it's not in focus when I push it up to yeah, the Yeah, but hey, there's there's brew mugs. You can see him down. He's got the... He figured out how to do the thing on YouTube where the things that he's selling is right under the video. So yeah. So go, go check that out. Get some mugs and, uh, you know, keep watching the video. That's the most important thing. If you don't get a mug, I don't really care. What I care about is you watching and enjoying these videos. So until next time, have yourself a brew. Brew-ha-ha. -ha.